What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on Boruto. This episode gives us a lot to dig into. But before I continue guys, please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you have not already. It would greatly help out the channel, greatly help out me to continue to be staying motivated to make these videos. And at the same time guys, it helps build the community up. And let's try to get that community going here guys. I want to know your thoughts, let me know in the comments giving me a like, you know, all that good jazz if you enjoy this content, and hit that bell button if you want to stay notified. But let's get right into it. So, we have Sasuke making one of the biggest discoveries we have ever made in throughout this whole entire series. And honestly, I've enjoyed this arc. This arc has been fantastic, and it's involving everyone, because this is a lot bigger than we think, because... We see that Sasuke actually discovers what looks to be kind of like a, I want to say a Ototsuki kind of technology sort of thing. And we see previous Ototsuki members showing up here. We have Kaguya, Momoshiki, and I can't remember the other one. And Urashiki wasn't on this one, I believe, because he wasn't exactly on the same level. He was an executioner, so he probably wasn't at that same level. But we see that Sasuke makes an interesting discovery of a fourth member, or I guess you could say a fifth member, a fifth member of the Otsutsuki clan that is discovered a man with a horn. And Sasuke actually takes a lot of caution here. I was very surprised that Jigen never took notice of it. And we have this horned figure showing up, and we actually see a tailed ten beast that was held captive and used for the collection of you know chakra and whatnot for Jigen to use or I guess you could say the actual Otsutsuki members so this is honestly a big surprise here to see this and realizing uh, I guess Sasuke realizing this is this is crazy like how in the world this has been here basically this whole time and you know how long has it truly been going on for but we also get to see Boro in this episode Let's not forget this crazy deranged man. This man has said he's seen a god and he's feeling blessed. And he even like shows these uh, new kids around, kind of getting them to believe. And we see all these zealots who are just blindfully falling for what Boro is uh, telling them. And it's, it's also kind of uh, scary how passionate Boro is with this kind of message that he's trying to transmit. It's definitely something that is quite concerning. You know, this man is literally getting the support of the people that are following him. They're all believing what he's saying. And we see at first that this little girl seemed to be very hesitant. I think she was the only one from that bunch of kids who actually spoke up. And we see how like Boro actually just sounds like this great man until we see like this, uh, I guess the, the brother of one of his most loyal members showing up and he tries to save her. Uh, unfortunately, she's not budging. And we see how like the, the young girl watches Boro here and like Boro takes on the attack head on, which is honestly not a surprise, but it was interesting to see how Boro works. We actually saw him have blood come out and, you know, the kids are just kind of like, you know, scared that they just saw a person die. But Boro proves that he is invincible, that he won't die, no matter what's going to hit to him. And we have this young man, whatever, get killed, basically, by Boro, by hardly doing anything, just extending his hand out. I wonder if he was sucking the life out of him, or he just kind of kills him here and there. But it is crazy how Boro works. This man, like I said, is just deranged. He is insane. And he just gains more following. It's in, it's just really surprising. But going back to, I guess you could say, the final point here. We actually see Naruto, I mean, Boruto, excuse me. And Mitsuki kind of heading back or to some, do some training. And honestly, it was surprising not to see Kawaki with them. Like Kawaki's normally there with them and you know training and whatnot so it's gonna be insane because we're gonna have Jigen also calling to make a trip over to where Kawaki's at and probably to see Boruto 
So this is all interesting. It's, it's really getting into a great part. And honestly, I cannot wait. But more importantly, guys, I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of this episode. What do you guys think? What could be better? All that jazz and more. Let me know in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe. But more importantly, stay safe. And I'll catch you later.